That's how you master logarithms in just one minute. So the first step, keep in mind, you're not looking for an answer because logarithm already has an answer in itself. This is how it looks like. You got a log, you got a base on the bottom, and here's the answer. What you're looking for is actually the exponent. Think of a simple example. 3 to the power of x equals 9, right? So we know that the answer is going to be actually a 2. So essentially, logarithms, they have the exact same delivery. Try to solve these simple examples. Give it a shot. All right, we're done with fundamentals. Let me show you these simple logarithmic identities that will come in handy. Power rule. If you have a value that is to a certain power in your logarithmic expression, you can actually take that number out and just turn it into a multiplication. Multiplication rule. If you have multiplication inside of your logarithmic expression, you can rewrite it as the sum of two separate logarithms. Quotient rule. If you have a division inside of your value in logarithmic expression, you can rewrite it as a subtraction. If your logarithm doesn't explicitly state the base in it, it's going to be 10, generally. But if you have a logarithm that looks like this, ln, the base is going to be natural number. If you have any other questions related to math, please let me know. I will help you out.